Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Let me know how I can help. Another horn and another missing piece. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting-to-know-you type exercises. You know. An icebreaker, before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? I, um, don't know what the term extenuating means. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in dim-witted. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Hello. My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? A chaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. So, where do you hail from? A chaka. I see. Sounds exotic. Want to partner up? 
Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. What can you tell me about Sir Loin of Roast Beefington? I can tell you that sounds like a phony name. Who's given you this false information? Did you just make that up? Go and introduce yourself to everyone. Then, come see me for the dirt. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye! Nearly unearthed the treasure that was within. I could feel the riches with the Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... you're... Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> What you need, Gale, is an upgrade. <laughs> like, my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... you're... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. You see this one, little brother one? Little Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, you gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick, then buzz off. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. I'm Graham. Graham Cr No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. What was your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. I'll leave you be. Go away. within. I yes. Have you remembered my name? 
Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> che cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... <laughs> Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Achaka. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. What do you want? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Failed itself. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny, because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. <laughs> <laughs>